Now this is really cool. Check this out. What do you think that is? It looks like a supercharger on a truck. You got it. What? So Brian Swenson reports here from the San Luis Obispo uh, supercharger here over Thanksgiving weekend. He says that this can charge 100 Teslas. So wait, that's a big battery pack. Mm -hmm. And then you have a bunch of supercharger stalls. Now those look like urban supercharger stalls. That's usually capped at like 72 kilowatts. He claims the numbers they were seeing there was uh, 125 kilowatts. So I guess they can put through whatever they want to put through. And so this is really cool. I mean, this means that when you've got a spot on the map where you might have a kind of bottleneck, like, you know, during Thanksgiving weekend, a lot of people are traveling. Mm -hmm. And so it's unusual routes usually, right? I mean, these are routes people don't normally take. These are getting to grandma's house. Now, this is really interesting because if Tesla were to implement some kind of route planning thing where you could plan a route uh, a week or two or, you know, however long you want in advance and then kind of like confirm the route. So you'd be like, oh, OK, I'm going to drive from, you know, L.A. to San Francisco on Thanksgiving to visit my family and then I'm going to do these other things. It would not only help you plan your entire trip. But it would also help Tesla because then they would know where you were going to be and they could say, oh, there's going to be a lot of people at this specific supercharger and they could either try and route you differently or they could pull in one of these things and make sure that everyone would have a charge by saying like, oh, OK, so there's going to be an extra 100 vehicles there. Uh, that means we're going to need to pull in a truck or two to help with the capacity of that specific supercharger. And so this is a huge game changer for Tesla because – the, the problem with capacity and superchargers is that once you build the supercharger, it has a capacity, a big capacity. And to increase that capacity takes a lot of infrastructure. So being able to just kind of roll one of these in right at the peak, I think that's going to be massive. Yeah, I mean, any parking lot really can take this. You don't have to have any infrastructure there other than some spaces. Right. Well, and this just puts other networks to shame, in my opinion, because if you look at like Electrify America, they've got spots where they've got like two or four chargers. This thing pulls up and you've got, you know, you can handle 100 cars. Thanks for watching this clip. You can watch the whole episode by clicking this card or by clicking the link in the video description down below. Now, now you know. know.